Hello guys, in this video we will see how to get started with Stone Intelligent TFT touchscreen display. So let's start. I got this display from Stone Intelligent TFT manufacturer. Stone is a manufacturer of intelligent TFT touchscreen display and has variety of display in all format like industrial, advanced, civil and embedded. And each type is having variety of size in the displays. And these displays can be used in various applications. This display can be controlled by any microcontroller like 8051, PIC, Arduino via simple hex instructions. Stone supplies toolbox software to create the GUI using the functions like text, number, curve, image switching, keyboard and many more. This display can be uh, interfaced with RS-232, RS-485 or TTL level directly. And these are the product parameters. The size of the display is 7 inch. The resolution is 800 by 480. These are the backlight parameters. The controller used in the uh, display is Cortex M4. And the LCD controller is CPLD EPM240. Refresh rate is 200 megahertz. And the frame rate is 25 frame per second. So let's open the display now. I have removed the courier details. That's why box uh, is looking little dirty. Otherwise, the packing was good. Box includes company booklet, which shows the details of the products. And one more paper. Okay, it's uh, showing the connection details of the display. And also included the required materials like cables, speaker, converter. Here it is our uh, 7 inch display. Display looks little big which is fit for plenty of applications. Okay, here we have an RTC coin cell and one uh, secret box we, we can say. Connection interface and here uh, we have to connect the USB disk to flash the display. And here is a USB connection for flashing the display. And here we have to connect a speaker. This is a power connector. Here uh, one end will go to the display and other end will go to the uh, 12 volt power adapter. And we have a connector for RS-485 interface as well. Or we can connect RS-232 connection. This is a USB to serial converter board which is having CP2102. So as you can see we can connect directly to the display and other end will go to the power adapter. And this is a USB board, USB connection board. We can we can connect the pen drive or USB cable. And this is a one watt speaker, which we can connect to the display. So let's power it on. This is the default example flashed in the display while shipping. Let's see the performance.
to download the required software for the display go to the download software here we will get the uh, softwares the required softwares for the display first one is the serial terminal second one is the gui creator third one is font creator and last one is usb driver i already downloaded the software so let's open it and before uh, executing the software make sure you have done the all this setting to run the software in uh, windows 8 or windows 10 uh, platform so now we will create one example go to the file new and select the screen pixel size i am using a 7 inch display that's why i have given the 800 by 480 save with project name okay this is a project window we can uh, browse we can add the picture font icon audio video as well and these are the controls like button uh, return with button ask input rtc settings so these are the inputs we can use uh, with the display there is one more feature with this display you can play the video file as well on this display and we have a uh, icon generator tool also integrated in this software with virtual serial port screen we can simulate the uh, display on the pc only so let's add one button in the screen So this is the uh, property of that button. We will switch to uh, second page on pressing the button. Okay, let's save the project and let's build the configuration. And let's simulate the project now. Click on virtual serial port screen and we can uh, simulate the screen here as you can see after touching the page is getting switched to new page second page i will flash the configuration on the display using usb connection so let's connect the usb Now click on download online. Here we will get one pop up which will show the uh, connection status. Here we can see USB is connected. Click on download button. Configuration got flashed on the display. As you can see, after touching the display, the new page is coming now we'll try another method using uh, offline download so we just have to connect the pen drive to the pc select the pen drive from uh, drop down list and click on download button it will download the configuration on the pen drive we just have to connect the pen drive to the display. It will start the flashing automatically.
After removing the pen drive, the board will get restart. Thanks for the watching. Like, share and subscribe for the channel for more videos.